take the gopis actually completely take over Krishna's heart. Total conquest. How so? How are the gopis so invincible? How are they so powerful in conquering Krishna? It's because of their incredible beauty and charm and sweetness and their unbelievable or inconceivable dedication, their surrender, and the purity of their love. As we mentioned, the gopis become so absorbed in Krishna, they forget themselves. They become self-forgetful. Yashoda remembers that she's Yashoda, and she remembers that Krishna is her Lala, and she remembers that Krishna is my son, and so does Nanda Baba. But of all the Brijvasis, lovers of Krishna, the mothers and fathers, the friends, the gopas and gopis, or the servants, no one really shows this quality of self-forgetfulness. This is a unique attribute and lakshana of the Braja gopis. They no longer have a self. <laughs> Who am I? I don't know. Even sometimes they're so absorbed in serving Krishna and their memory and in smaran, remembering Krishna's lila, that they become Krishna. I'm no longer Radha. I'm no longer Lalita. I'm no longer anyone. I'm, I'm Krishna. See, look. Just look how I walk. See my gate. I'm, I'm, I'm Krishna. See how I play the flute. And I start playing flute like Krishna. They become totally one with Krishna and completely forget their other identity as Radhika or some other gopi. We never hear that Mother Yashoda forgets that she's his mother and starts saying, I am, I am Lala, I am Nanda Lala. Just see how I kill these demons. But the gopis do. So this is the intensity of their love that they're able to totally conquer Krishna, Prem Vasyata, because their every word, their every thought, their every deed is totally absorbed in Krishna to the point that they lose themselves. <laughs>